Alright, Dixer, so this is the program. Um, you can see it's just mirroring everything because I've got it open. Anyway, when you start off, you're going to want to go to settings, go to broadcast settings, and make sure file output only is selected um, because that will. Uh, well, for a live stream, it will be uploading to a website while you're doing everything. You want file output setting. This is just what you call your file and where it goes. So you can click browse, go to desktop or wherever you want to save it to, and you can see it's outputting the file I've named there for Dixer. Um, you can set a hotkey for when you want to start recording or stop recording. Um, uh, video, you can select resolution, which should just be your monitor's resolution. Frames per second, it's just how smooth it'll look. Uh, for audio, if you are recording with microphone, it should be set to default already, but uh, you'll want to choose either default or your microphone. And then uh, audio will just be your audio, that's normal. Um, you can also set to mute and unmute your microphone so you can have push to talk on if you want. Um, microphone noise gate will be when you talk, where the microphone will pick it up. And uh, I don't think you really need anything in here. You want to use multi threaded optimizations on um, just so it runs as fast as it can. Um, anyway, that's it for settings. Then, when you want to start streaming, you need to add monitor capture, um, which will just allow you to capture the whole screen, unless you're doing, um, if you're doing a specific window, um, like, so say I only wanted to record my uh, email browser here, you'd want to go to uh, global sources, add, add window capture, Thunderbird, and then that's it there, because that's what um, that's what this is. So you can either choose entire window, which will give you the um, bar up the top with the close open shit as well, um, or you can do inner window, which we'll just do from below, sort of file edit view, etc. Um, gamma you shouldn't need to change, opacity you shouldn't need to change. Um, you'll want capture mouse cursor on probably, so you can show where everything's going, like I am here. But um, yep, and that should be everything. Once you've got all that set up, you can click Preview Stream to show what it's going to look like when you are recording, and you can click. Usually, it would say Start Start Stream here. Um, and yeah, you just need to make sure that when you've put Monitor Capture or whatever you're putting here, you need to tick this box before you start streaming as well. Anyway, that should be everything. So I.